let's briefly talk about the definition of customer acquisition and how we actually will be calculating the cost of acquiring customers. So when it comes to the definition by customer acquisition, we mean the process of bringing in new customers or convincing people to buy your product that already they are interested in. And maybe they are looking at videos that you have posted, reading posts that you have produced. Maybe they are already considering your product. During the customer acquisition process, you bring the customers down the sales and marketing funnel from brand awareness to purchase decision. But it's also important to understand what actually generates the customer acquisition. And therefore, usually we would look separately at different methods and channel of acquisition. We'd also like to know what is the capacity, cost and duration for each and every channel, for each and every method. One last thing, which is also important, is the fact that you can actually approach the customers at different stages in the sales and marketing funnel. So you may start working at the brand awareness stage, but actually you can concentrate maybe on customers who are already aware of your brand and they are already considering the purchase of your product. The stage on which you concentrate will depend on the economics, so in other words, what makes sense. Now, when it comes to the customer acquisition and the main KPI that we will be looking at is the cost of acquiring the customer. And we calculate it in a very similar manner. We simply divide all costs for a specific channel by the number of uh, new customers that we have acquired thanks to this channel. So let's assume that we have spent 15,000 on selling in the market and editing, and we have managed to acquire 50 customers. This would mean that every customer on average cost us $300. Obviously, in order to make a rational choice, we have to compare it with something. And usually we will be comparing it with the lifetime value of the customer. And usually you would like to have the cost of acquiring customer three times smaller than the lifetime value of a customer. Now, when it comes to what kind of costs we actually take into account, we obviously have here salaries, expenses for paid ads, like AdWords, Facebook ads, etc. There will be also CapEx and OpEx related to the tools that we will be using in acquiring specific customers. In many cases, a big position will be external services. Here you will have hidden also part of the salary, so things that we have outsourced. And also in some cases, it will be the purchase of ads through some sort of an agency. And obviously, you can have other costs like office costs. So that's in short. Now let's have a look how we can actually reduce the cost of acquiring the customer. We will first look at the general framework for cost reduction. And then we will try to apply it to the cost of acquiring customers.